Well, hello. Hey guys, before we get this video started today, whoa, where does that accent came from? Um, before we get this video started, I wanted to say I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. Uh, where I've been at is I've been on Twitch a lot. That's where I've been at. If you guys want to go check me out when I go live, twitch.tv forward slash it's chaos Tim. The video is only crafted sets. This is for people who don't um, have time to farm sets like everyone else does and still want to be powerful just as just as much as powerful as proc sets and all those sets out there but uh anyways let's go ahead and get straight into the video uh hope you guys enjoy if this video gets 50 likes i will definitely make another crafted set only build uh but hope you guys enjoy everybody fucking check. Hey guys, I'm here in Citadel now. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this build. Uh, this build is basically good for anyone who's new and anyone who is not new. I mean, it could still be really good. I could right now. I played in Kine, and it just kills everybody. Um, it could actually. There's this build has a lot more potential to it. You could play it in uh, Vivic as well, and probably Wreck as well, because yeah, all not all abilities are morphed out. So. Um, and right now my uh, gear is I'm out of my gear right now but it's still only two levels out but it's still really powerful um, but anyways let's get straight into this build first off we're gonna start with the food you can use either the Cyrodiil tack which is easy to get for all you newcomers without that you can still use this you can use I definitely use some food with it though um, use the Cyrodiil tack max health and max dam or you can use the dubious which is very popular you can get it from uh, guild vendors and all that but um, I use that most of the time because the uh, recovery is the only thing that's the downside in this build everything else is so powerful you could just uh, you'll, you'll see it for yourself and at the end of this video I'll do a little montage um, of me killing things and peoples and whatnot <laughs> but anyways that, that was with the food um, we got shackle breaker as the headpiece Make sure you guys get this. We got, uh, actually, let's get this right started. I'm sorry. We got Hunting's, ooh, I need to charge that real quick. So we got Hunting's Rage with Maul, 2H Maul. You can either use a 2H Maul or a sword, 2H long, uh, long sword. I, I prefer the Maul. I got the Healing Staff. Oh, make sure you have Sharpened on this, uh, this Maul or Sword. Uh, Restoration Staff. Make sure you put Powered on it. You can put any type of uh, enchantment on it. I prefer Disease. Especially and, and enchantment for the mall as well. I prefer weapon damage. Uh, you can put any enchantment, uh, but I I recommend weapon damage on your uh, 2H. But here we go, and you get impen with shackle breaker head heavy, shackle breaker impen heavy. Uh, we got shoulders hundings medium impen. We got waist hundings impen medium medium armor. Uh, shackle breaker as well again impen shackle breaker impen shackle breaker impen uh, for make sure this is this is a five piece heavy uh, five heavy two eight uh, two medium build and right now I got a random necklace on you basically see I, I wear random stuff too I just put a, a, a weapon damage enchantment on it I just put this random necklace I got um, and then you have to get, you're gonna have to get a ring though, it's hunting. You can either, see with this build, you can put another build on if you like, see what I mean? Like it, it, you can add another build to this, like another two piece. And it, you can add, and like it hasn't, like it's, it still has more potential to it. So you're gonna add weapon damage enchantments on these. Uh, make sure you get the hunting's ring though, or hunting's necklace to add on to this. Uh, to complete your build fully. Uh, let's sh I'll show you guys a screenshot of my fully buffed of this of this build right now. I'll sh I'll show you what it is right now, but it's not the greatest because um, because my guy my my level armor is added level because I'm wearing level 44. I'm yeah wearing level 44 armor. And I'm level 46, so it's a little bit bad. Not bad, but okay. Here we go. 
see it's only 3.5 right now but uh let me show you that screenshot when i took when i was a level 44 now nah. uh all right and then for okay we're gonna move on to skills now for your 2h bar you can use d swing in cap in cap for your uh uh your ult you can hit d swing you have ambush for your gap closer, rally for your heal, another one of the heals, because you're gonna have a lot of heals in this, in this, uh, this, this build. And then you have surprise attack. That's your that's your bread and butter right there. And your execute. And then we move on to your resto. You can uh, this right here, this slot. I usually switch off from grim focus because you can use relentless focus. Is this this would be a lot better if you had relentless, uh, but right now I don't have it. Uh, right now, you could actually use immovable. I use immovable when I'm trying to one vx because you it, it it's great. A lot of people you gonna because I know you get um what you call it major ward and whatnot from dark cloak or minor protection. Yeah, but um I'm just gonna let you guys read that real quick. Grants immunity knockback to knockback and disabling effects for four seconds while slotted each piece of heavy armor ward decreases the cost of break free by four percent so you got four you got five pieces of heavy you know that's a really cheap break free right there and that's the reason why i use that that's because when i 1vx you know you're gonna run you're gonna have to keep your stamina up as much as possible so i do pop that or i do have that on i don't usually pop it as much because i do get the same abilities from this but I, when I have it on, um, it's only to uh, grant immunity and knock back and disabling effects, and to uh, just have this on more often. And then you can have Mirage, and then we have Vigor, Dissolving Vigor, and then we have Healing Ward. And that is the reason why um, I'm wearing a Resto Bar. Healing Ward is so nice. You get underneath 10% health, and you pop that thing, and you pop a Vigor at the same time. And then you turn around to this bar, and you hit that rally, you got your health back instantly. It is it's nice. But, uh, yeah. Well, this guess, uh, I guess this uh, concludes the build. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys uh, like it. Hope you uh, enjoy it. I hope to see you guys out there uh, fighting me against my own build. <laughs> well, then, I guess this. This is goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye!